Serendipity lies to her subs. She antagonizes and then she plays the victim. Here she's speaking about Vinny G's chat the other day, which Vinny takes all of his videos down. But as soon as I saw her ass, I started recording. Because I knew what she was going to be doing. So I go to Vinny G's chat and him and I bicker. We have this love-hate bromance thing going on. I go in there quite a bit. So does Rami. I have never seen Serendipity in that chat before, ever. I was in there with Ray Cella, who is one of Serendipity's mods. Right? And as soon as Ray Cella saw me, she said, I wish Sarah was here, the truth teller. And then she went and got Sarah. And then Sarah came into Vinny's chat just to pester me. I've never seen her in there. I, I, that doesn't mean she hasn't been in there. I'm just saying I've never seen her kicking at Vinny's. And I go in there quite a bit. So that's this is how this started. And she lies to all her people and her subs, right, to get them to think that I'm coming at her constantly. So this is how that went. I'll, I'll, I'm going to redo this here. Let's listen. You came into Vinny G's bothering me. No, bitch. I was in Vinny G's for about 30 minutes before your dumb ass came in there and Rachella went and got you. I've got that video up too, idiot. You came in Vinny G's bothering me, you dumb bitch. That's the first time I've ever seen you in there. And Rachella can attest to that because Rachella was in there. Yeah, Rachella was in there when I had been in there about a half hour before your dumb ass got in there and ran your mouth at me. And I clipped it and it's up in a video. Liar. And she saw what was going down. She saw him make those Xanax comments. I didn't make Xanax comments at you until you came at me, bitch. And the clip is up, y'all. That's why I clip her. The clip is up on my channel. To me. She saw that. Yeah, she saw that after you started running your fucking mouth at me, you Xanax-eating fucking bitch. She saw him trying to provoke me. Yeah, by by saying by screaming. You're the one that came there and leave people's kids alone, Bryson. Get the fuck out. I saved the chat. I absolutely did not say anything to her when she came in there. She provoked me. This is what she does to her subs. And they, 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 they follow her along as if I'm trying to bother her. I was over there enjoying myself in Vinny's like I always do. We were having lots of fun in there. I always, Vinny always says, Brian St. John. We always have fun. We banter back and forth. Like I said, Ray Chella came, went and got her and brought her over there. And she says, I was in there trying to provoke her. I wasn't mentioning her at all. And I was having a, a bicker with uh, T. He Kander, who said, she, she, T. He Kander goes, uh, Mel Mel came in there. My buddy Mel Mel came in there. And she says, Hi, Brian. Hope you and the kids are well. Or how are you? How are the wife and kids? And I said, Well, they're peachy. They're doing well. And I'm blessed to have them. And T. He Kander goes, Yeah, I wish you'd spend more time with them. All right. So my response to T.E. Kander is, well, where's your kids? You're here. And Sarah popped right in and said, stop talking about people's kids, Bryson. Right? And, but she tells everybody that I came in there trying to provoke her. Right? I'm going to expose this bitch as much as I can. Out of here, bitch. I was already over there. You don't never go to Vinny G's. You knew I was over there because she went and told you. Look at her in the chat. This lying bitch here. Yeah, I was there. Ooh, look, he's so triggered. He mad. He big mad. Look at her trying to provoke. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly what happened in that chat and how she lied to her subs for sympathy and tried to make herself look like a victim. Now, you see right here where we had been in there, right? Nobody was talking about Sarah at all, right? And Mel Mel, who always is kind to me, she's kind to everybody. She's a good soul. She says, Brian, I hope the wife and kids are doing well, right? And I'll explain. It, it goes on. I'm going to play the full version of this video. 
I said, Mel, Mel, they are peachy. And I'm blessed to have a classy young wife and lovely daughters. So T he said, I wish he'd spend more time with them. Not her. Them. Because I said wife and daughters. Them being my wife and my children. Them. Okay, and then I said, thanks for asking to Mel Mel. Right? And right, see, we were talking about Molly and, and them and how Vinny feels about them in the Summer Wells case. What, nobody was mentioning Sarah. Sarah wasn't even in here. Watch. Okay. Now I'm over in Vinny G's chat. And we're, me and T here, I guess, are just playing around with each other. But it says, Brian, I hope she, Mel Mel comes in. And says, Brian, I hope the wife and kids are doing well. Right? And I said, Mel Mel, they are peachy and blessed to have a class of young wife and lovely daughters. Right? Tihi says, I wish she'd spend more time with them regarding this comment. I said, thanks for asking. So my response is, please, they are in bed while I get ready to work overtime to provide for them. Right? And then we go back on. And then I said, where's your kids at while you pester people on the tubes who haven't bothered you? Because she's saying that I don't spend time with my wife and kids. Now, you see right here where Rachella, who is Serendipity's mod, says, hopefully Sarah comes in here. She be the truth teller. All right, Sarah wasn't in there before that. Sarah said, I came in there trying to provoke her. This shows you that Sarah wasn't in the chat. Hopefully, Sarah comes in here. She be the truth teller, right? And then Rachel got quiet for a minute, and she went and got Sarah. Say, hey, Brian St. John's over there. You want to give him hell? That's exactly what happened. Watch. All right. And then Rachel, who I I like Rachel. Hopefully, Sarah comes in here. She's the truth teller. And then here it is. There he goes speaking about other children. I guess that Rachella has eye problems because she didn't see this, right? She she didn't see this here. And, and you know, I have to emphasize, emph emphasize them. Because he didn't say, I wish he'd spend more time with her. She said them. Now watch how this works. I wish he'd spend more time with them as if, you know, that's my wife and children. Right? But Rachella must have... Now Rachella... Hang on. Let me get it. Gout or something. Hopefully Sarah comes in here. And then Rachella says, there he goes speaking about other people's children. When T. He was the one that said I should spend more time with them, Rachella. This 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 is how they this is how they try to work. Right. And I, so I copy. And then here the comes comments. dumbass Xanax head right here. Right. Stop. This is me coming into Vinny's to provoke Sarah. Stop talking about people's kids, Bryson. Not, hey, Tee and Brian, you really shouldn't be talking about other kids, other people's kids, right? See? Did I stutter or something? Sarah! After she went and, went and got her, right? So Sarah came in there and snapped at me, and I said, oh, shut up, Sarah, and go read up. Ho, T. He was talking about my kids. You stupid cunt. This is me trying to provoke her after she came in here yelling at me, telling me what to do and how I should respond to somebody talking about my kids. I'm talking about other kids, Bryson. Do you even slur in your typing too? And you slur in your typing too. And I just I want to clear this up for Rachella. You can't stutter while you're typing.
Now, and then, not only, now, do you know what he did to the mother of the dead baby his own son killed? Now, that's Kelsey Martin's child. Teehee's talking about other people's children, but no one says anything about it. I didn't do anything to the mother of her. In fact, we get along today, and I'm able to have pictures of my grandson who got adopted out because she didn't follow children's services again. And then then they talk about... But that's, that's her talking about other people's children. You notice Sarah and Rachel have nothing to say about this comment. My son... Isn't that my child, right? Stop exploiting death. You do, Sarah. Now, here's Sarah trying to provoke me again. I stepped away for a minute so I could clip, because I was clipping while this was happening. And she goes, where'd Brian go? Don't run now, weirdo. That's me coming into the chat to provoke Sarah. But see, this is how they are. Someone comes in and starts talking about me spending time with my kids. And then Xanax head here, you know, with married to the Campbell soup can guy. Stop exploiting children, Bryson. Stop exploiting children, Bryson. Okay, Brian, I want people to see this. Since you got some wheels, come see us. We'd love to show you our home. It's O-U-R. See her trying to provoke me as she told her subs that I was trying to provoke her? Because Vinny G takes his lives down. Everybody knows that. But this is me trying to provoke her. Since you got wheels, come see us. And then she told you guys that she never said uh, she offered me a house tour. I never want to show you our home. She said that she never said that. And I said, oh, yes, you did. And there it is. Okay, people keep this in mind right here. I've officially been invited over. Keep that in mind. I just wanted to... And then she's in there talking about Molly, trying to provoke Molly. She came in there trying to provoke everybody. I just wanted to uh, show how they do. Anyways, I wanted to clip that for later. So she lied to her subs twice in one video because she said, I never invited you over for, uh, to see our house. Yes, you did. It's right there. You're a liar, Sarah. 